Join the Classic Game Room community to get your questions answered on Thursday CGR Q&A. The following review has been approved by Lord Garnet and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to a CGR Garage from Classic Game Room. I'm recording this on May 4th. It's Star Wars Day, the perfect day to review Darth Vader's car from Hot Wheels. I thought he flew one of those TIE Fighters. Apparently he drives a car and he's very small. Cue the Imperial March theme in your head. It's the Darth Vader from Hot Wheels. Is there anything they can't put Star Wars on now? And also, I don't really have a problem with it, because this is pretty cool. There's a bunch of Star Wars-themed vehicles here, but not the Pontiac Aztec on fire driven by Jar Jar Binks waiting to explode car. Nah, this one's better. It's a pretty badass ride. The back of the packaging says, as powerful and menacing as Lord Vader himself. This jet black sports car commands the road with a force befitting. A Dark Lord of the Sith. Note the Darth Vader helmet and lightsaber trim. I'm pretty sure that this thing runs on ground up Ewoks, as it should. I love that they somehow managed to transform Darth Vader's helmet and his little chest control panel into a car. It looks exactly like Darth Vader. I mean, you gotta wonder about a guy's sanity when he wants to drive a car that looks like himself, but it's Darth Vader, so maybe he can pull it off. It rolls around nicely, so you can reenact those scenes that you may have forgotten about in Star Wars, like Darth Vader versus Chewbacca on wheels. And who can ever forget that scene from The Empire Strikes Back, where Lando Calrissian uses Darth Vader's face as a skateboard. So how about a big classic game room shout out and thank you to Wesley from Rochester, New York for sending this to the show. Thank you, Wesley. The Hot Wheels Darth Vader is totally... Lando. Gonk, 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 gonk. The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision album set.